Hi everybody, my name is Angie. Welcome to my channel. Um, so today I am going to be making some of these um, unpaper towels or you know, fabric napkins, whatever you want to call them. Um, so they are a nice eco-friendly, uh, non-one-time use throwaway uh, paper towel, you know, any kind of kitchen thing that you want to do. So I just use this cute little um, dog print fabric. Um, so you're just going to need um, some flannel. Um, so I think you can get from like a yard and a half of flannel, you can get a set of 12 of these. Uh, you probably have a little bit extra left over. Um, realistically, you need like 48 inches, which would only give you like an inch or two of extra. Um, so if you get 48 inches, then you'd be able to get 12 of them out of that yard of cut as long as it's at least 40 inches wide. I should put that. Um, so yeah, you can get 12 of them out of there, a nice little set, um, nice little matching set. Um, these would make cute gifts um, for I mean, just about anybody. Everybody needs napkins and you know, whether people want to or not, they can use these reusable ones instead. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that is the unpaper towel. Um, there we go. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so to get started, I have my uh, flannel. This is just a piece of flannel with the selvages down here, and I have it pressed to get all the wrinkles out. And I am just gonna go ahead and um, straighten up the edge over here with my rotary cutter. Just get a nice straight edge there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and And I think what I'm going to do is cut this to 14 and a half inches. This fabric is like an inch shy of being able to get 15 inch pieces, which I would normally do, uh, 10 by 15. Um, but maybe I do 12 by 15. Hold. Yeah, 10 by 15. And this is unwashed fabric. Um, so it is going to shrink up a bit when you do wash it. The ones that I have that I made 10 by 15, they are actually 9 by 14 now after washing it. So it does take like an inch off of all sides. So keep that in mind if you want a specific size uh, when it is finished, then maybe wash the fabric first. Uh, but I am just leaving it as is unwashed. And so I'm going to go ahead and cut it to 14 and a half because that's all I have room for. So I'm just using the lines on my mat, except that's not right, because I'm gonna go 15, because I'm at the one inch line over here. So 15 and a half. So there's my 15, and then I'm gonna rotate this and line up the bottom edge of the fabric here with one of the lines on my ruler and then just use that to cut the selvages off. And then I'm just going to go ahead and line this up so it's all nice and square and then I'm going to cut it to 10 inches. This one. Cut this one at 10 inches. Alright, so that gives me four pieces then that are these ones are 14 and a half by 10. I would do 15 by 10, but like I said, I just don't have enough. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of them to that size. All right, so now I have all of my pieces all cut to the size, and then I'm going to go ahead and on each of them, this is just my preference, but I like the rounded corners. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a 
pen of some kind. I just have a green pen here. Um, and then anything with a rounded bottom to them. So I'm just going to take my uh, water bottle here. And then I am just putting it so that the it meets up the side and the side over here without shifting it when I and then we'll just draw a line there. So I don't know if you can see, we're gonna do just a little rounded edge like that. And we're gonna go ahead and do that on all four corners of all pieces that you have cut out. Now, if you're using a, a serger, you can go ahead and just leave that green line because we're gonna go ahead and cut that little piece off. But if you are gonna be using a, um, a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine instead of a serger, then you're just gonna go ahead and um, you can mark it on one piece and then line them all up. And then we're just gonna go ahead and cut that off because um, we're just gonna, we don't need that piece on there. Uh, we need it to finish to size. But with the serger, we can cut that off as we go. All right, and then depending on the size that you want, so this one, like I said, I didn't have a whole lot of fabric to work with. I had kind of, I, I didn't measure the greatest, so I had kind of um, just enough to make um, the size that I want. So I'm not gonna go ahead when I'm sewing up the sides and um, the top and the bottom, I'm not gonna go ahead and um, have the serger cut anything. I'm just using it to finish off those edges. The only part that the serger is gonna be cutting off is the rounded corners. Um, so if you, um, you know, want your certain size, if you have enough fabric for it, um, you can definitely cut it a little bit bigger so that you can then, um, you know, just draw the size box that you want and then have the serger cut it to that exact size. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and lift the foot, line this up right with the edge where the, the cutting line is so I don't get it. Um, so that the fabric doesn't get cut. I'll just keep on going. All right, so I'm coming up to my rounded corner here. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of shift it with this hand while I'm kind of guiding it through with this finger here. And I just have that rounded corner kind of lined up with the cutting or with the knife here. back to the beginning here so I'm gonna go ahead and hold my, um, my little beginning tail thread here hold it over to the side so that the knife will cut it and then I'm gonna go ahead and just veer off nice long tail going and then snip that and you can go ahead and snip these threads and then um, melt the edges if you want, or you can go ahead and um, use a, um, a needle and thread, or I have this little tiny, tiny little mini crochet hook that I use to grab onto the, fa or grab onto the, um, the stitches and then pull it through. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna use. All right, and there it is, a nice little uh, unpaper towel. Um, you can use them as a napkin. You can cut them down a little bit smaller. You can kind of do whatever size you want. Um, this is just kind of the standard size that I saw a lot of people making them. Um, but it has, you know, the nice finished edges on the side, so you don't have to worry about the flannel fraying. And here is one that I made before, and it just um, gets more and more absorbent. The more that you wash it, it gets softer, um, especially the first time that you wash it, it gets, you know, those chemicals that kind of come on it and there's starch and stuff on it to make it stiffer. Um, so all of those get washed out and it just gets nice and soft and more absorbent. So you can use these as a napkin or, you know, paper towel, spill up messes, whatever you want to do. And yeah, so there we go. That is a nice eco-friendly, uh, non throw away replacement for your paper towels and napkins. 
All right. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Um, leave me a comment down below if you uh, plan on making these, if you have any questions. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to stay tuned for what we're making next. See you later. Bye.